Man, guys, today I am so excited. Philip and I are going to go on our first saltwater fishing trip. And I don't even remember one. It was a really long time ago. So we're going to bust out some Carolina rigs, maybe a couple artificials in a saltwater pond that we found. And see if we can hook up on 2K17's first bit of reds. I'm really excited. Um, we're going to bring the cast net too because we've heard of big mullet that are in these ponds as well. Today I'm going to be bringing with me a huge assortment of tackle. So what I brought is many artificials. I have bass assassin, soft plastic, little swim baits I'm going to put on jig heads. And I have them in a variety of colors. Like I have like the speckled white. I have the pearly white. I got like baby bass with a yellow tail um and also i like this greenish color so i got all the different combinations that i think i'm gonna need and also i brought some flukes with me there's a little sea shad fluke right there and then some doa shrimp but the main rig we're gonna be using today I, artificials are kind of like our last resort today so I think what we're gonna hopefully main be using is bait, actual bait. So we might, I have some frozen shrimp that I'm gonna bring with me to catch like little like pinfish and perhaps use those for bait. But the goal is that there's gonna be some mullet in these ponds and we're gonna throw the cast net and then we're gonna make a Carolina rig out of the swivel, egg sinker, some leader, which I don't think I have on me. Actually, I do right here. Some 20 pound mono right there. And then also just in case the big stuff isn't biting and we're just getting bored to death. You know, I just brought some bobbers and some really small J hooks in case we just want to like throw some like little pieces of shrimp on bobbers against the tree lines, catch some pinfish or something. All right, allow me to show you the rig that we we're going to be using today. As I said, we're gonna be using the Carolina rig, and this is how you tie it. First thing we're gonna do is this is our main line, and this is our egg sinker. One ounce of egg sinker or three quarter ounce, either or, your choice. Um, You could go heavier because you might be fishing really, really fast current, but saltwater ponds usually don't have much current, so we're just going to use with a three quarter of an ounce. So we're just gonna slide that on our main line, and then we're gonna get a swivel right there hope you guys can see that and we're going to tie it on with whatever knot you really use to tie on anything like the knot you used to tie on hooks the knot you used to tie on lures swivels really anything i just use one knot and that's the um clench knot it's really simple all right so now that we have our weight that is being stopped by our swivel we can tie on our leader and you want about one and a half feet of your leader I got um 20 pound monofilament, but if you're going for bigger fish, you might want to upgrade in size. If you're going for smaller fish, you might want to downgrade. So again, tie on that leader with the same on the other side of the swivel. That's the most important part. Okay, so now that you have your leader, you're going to extend it until you have about a foot and a half of line, and then what you're going to do is you're going to Hmm, might need some scissors. That could help potentially. There we go. And cut it. And then you're going to tie your hook on the tag end of your leader. And I'm using a little circle hook. Just like that. And I will eventually debarb this hook because I hate hurting fish. I hate killing fish unless I'm going to eat them, obviously, but... I typically am a catch and release guy. All right, that should be our last knot. Now we're just gonna clip all the tag ends. You should probably have one on your hook. You can just clip right there. You should have one on one side of your swivel. Right there, clip that. And then you should also probably have one on the other side of your swivel. Clip that. There you go. Got your Carolina rig. Let me show you this. Got our weight. Got our swivel. 
with the two lines attached and then a foot and a half down we got our hook and that my friends is a very simple rig that will give you very big success see you guys out on the water So this is a 100% saltwater pond, guys. Good news, good news. Pinfish. Let's get some bigger stuff. More small fish. Yeah. I think Phil's got toad guys. Oh my god, dude, that's huge. I think there's a flash right there. Oh, wait, yes. Yes. Oh! It's the croaker! It's, it's huge! Nice. Alright, now let him go before he dies, because those things are not hardy. Oh, I got one too! I got one too! Double! Double! Oh my god! Pinfish? And? Pinfish! Except yours is a little bigger. Little pin. See? I see how big he is. See if I. Pin. Yeah, those spike the crap out of you. Pinny. Alright, we got our bait. We got about five pinfish here, along with a little bait shrimp, just in case we run out. The goal is to catch a few red drum before spring break ends. Oh, dude, I think I bite, dude. Oh, he's on. What is that? What is that? Oh, red. It's a red. It's a red. It's a red. Guys, dude, that is a nice fish. Look at that tail. Zoom on that tail. Ooh, double spot. It's blue. Oh.